Hey guys, it's Charlie. It is uh, April the 6th, Tuesday. I came across an article uh, today and I wanted to share it with you. It's uh, The title of the article is uh, Keep an Eye on the Interest Rates. See what happens to them now. And I butchered that title. It is Now Start Watching Interest Rates and it's written by John Rubino. Um, basically, it talks about, you know, in, in the last, we went from uh, last month having job shrinkage and agonizing over uh, Eastern European, or I mean European countries who were having sovereign, sovereign debt crises to instantly, magically come April 1st, ironically April 1st, and we have jobs growth, we have uh, no problems anymore in, uh, in Europe, we have, you know, things like uh, oil back at $85 a barrel, iron ore is up 170% in the last year, and jobs are being created hand over fist, so the problems are over. It goes on in the article to mention and show graphs of the amount of debt that we've accumulated and the amount of short-term debt that we've accumulated uh, that's going to have to be refinanced within a year or less. And this debt, this very low interest paying debt, is going to be refinanced into very much higher long-term debt, which things like your mortgage and your credit card and your uh, equity lines of credit are all tied to these longer uh, longer uh, indicators like a 10-year yield uh, on a the yield on a 10-year bond. Um, so that means all those things in your, the credit card in your wallet, your equity line of credit, your mortgage that you're going to go look for is going to go up in rate. But it doesn't matter because the economy is turn the corner. Bernanke has done it. He's uh, pulled a rabbit out of the hat and uh, managed to save the entire economy. Now, I've been saying for the last year, and as many, it's not just me, but many other people here on YouTube and, and a lot of mainline economists saying, look, this has all been papered over. All of the fictitious uh, practices of the Federal Reserve are going to come back and bite us in the end because they haven't fixed any problems. They haven't taken away any of the uh, toxic assets. They've let companies change the way they account for their assets, and they papered over everything. So we're on a, uh, in, on a virtual minefield, financial minefield, just waiting to step on the quadrillion dollars worth of derivatives or the true housing implosion that we never let happen. Uh, but for now, the, the consensus on the uh, for-profit business channels and uh, the Wall Street pundits is everything's fine. There is no problems. We're going to have a great 2010. Now, please read this article, but most importantly, I want you to read the comments. And there is a, the first comment on here is by Bruce C., whoever he is, I don't know, and I wish I could address him in this article because his comment was brilliant. I'm going to share just a few of his insights, but please read the whole thing. It's funny. Um, after reading this article, Bruce C. made a very uh, astute point, and it's this. It's bullish no matter what. The price of oil is rising? Bullish. More profit for energy companies and more investment in clean energy. Most of the new jobs created in March were part-time or temporary? Bullish. Since the economy has turned the corner, full-time job offers are practically a sure thing. But didn't wages go down too? Bullish. Revenues minus cost equals profits. 41 states have revenue shortfalls. Bullish. Various states have always complained about shortfalls. It's another sign that things are back to normal. 8 million people are still unemployed. Bullish. That's 8 million spenders, not savers. Interest rates are rising. Bullish. Yet another sign that the economy is getting stronger. Stocks may be going up but on a very low volume. Bullish, that means the dumb money hasn't even bought into the rally yet. People have a lot of concerns and uncertainty about the future. Bullish, not until the wall of worry ends will the party be over. So much new liquidity will cause inflation. Bullish, stocks are one of the best hedges against inflation. The war in Iraq and Afghanistan are bankrupting us. Bullish, don't get mad, get even. Debit the treasury and credit the defense companies. Inflation in China is picking up. Bullish, that should dampen any bubbles that some people worry about. Gold is going up in price. Bullish, this is a broad-based rally. Wait, maybe gold is going down in price. Bullish, that means the economic fears are dissipating. Actually, gold prices seem to be cons consolidating and moving sideways. Bullish, a sell-off or a rally would mean things are overheating. Iran seems to be determined to develop a nuclear program. Bullish, more nuclear power plants means less demand on oil, which means lower energy costs, which means more profit. Israel may be forced to handle Iran themselves militarily. Bullish. That will kickstart the construction industry when we rebuild both sides. Health insurance form bill is an abomination. Bullish. If insurance premiums rise, 
there will be subsidies. If doctors check out, they'll be replaced with cheaper foreign ones. If care is rationed, then costs will be controlled and profits insured. This guy is brilliant. Uh, that's only about half of what he's got listed here, but take the time, read through it. Very funny uh, in a very real situation. I mean, not a funny situation, but it does, um, it does bring me some hope that when I read articles like this now, there's more people that have Bruce's um, sense of humor and Bruce's perspective than have the uh, so-called uh, propagandists that we see on all the business channels. So enjoy the article. Uh, but for now, that's all I got.